Hey designers, my name is Karthik from Design School for WordPress Beginners, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your websites. If you are new here, consider subscribing. In this video, I want to show you how to design transparent sticky headers with logos that shrink based on the scrolling. So as you scroll, you can see that my header changes its color and the logo shrinks and adjusts itself. This is possible with the new features added in Elementor version 2.5.8 beta. So once the stable version comes out, I think it's coming out real soon. You can achieve this particular logo shrink effect along with the transparent sticky feature. Click on the template that you have designed for your header by clicking on edit with Elementor. Click on the section and under advanced, under motion effects, select scrolling effects and choose sticky top. And you also want this on desktop, tablet and mobile and you can set an effect offset which basically specifies the amount after which the effect should kick in. So that's what it means or the amount of pixels that need to be scrolled before the effect takes place. That's what it means. You can change the value by changing the offset. You'll basically displace the header. I don't want to do that. And once you're done with that, we need to move on to the next part and paste the code that I'm going to share with you in the description. I'll tell you what this code is. Well, selector stands for this particular section. So here I'm saying initially I want to have this background color and I'm also specifying that there will be a transition that will change its background color within four seconds with a ease animation. The other values are ease in. So you can have ease in, ease in out, ease out as well. We'll just leave it for ease. And this specifies selector dot elementor sticky effects specifies that the background color that my header or this particular section needs to have when it turns into a sticky header. So you can have any header here. You can maybe say red or pink or whatever color, or you can have an RGB value if you want that little bit of transparency. It's all up to you. So just put any color here. I'm just putting pink for my reference. And this particular code shrinks the height of container to 75 pixels. What is this again? It's saying that the sticky FX class, which is actually the whole section when it becomes a sticky element. I want the child of or the container of that particular sticky header class to shrink to 75 pixels, meaning whichever is within this particular section, I want that to shrink to 75 pixels. You can also specify any width that you want your header to shrink to. I'm just happy with 75. It's perfectly aligned with the logo and my menu. So I'm really happy with it. And this code says that I'm going to transform the container within selector. So I'm going to have a transition of the property height within one second. That's what this specifies. So we have two transitions here. One is we're actually changing the background color of this section using this code. So this code is for that. So this is the background color of the changed section. And this code is to shrink the height of this particular header. So you can have any value here. If you have 70 pixels, the height will shrink to 70 pixels. If you have 60 pixels, it's all up to you. So you decide and add any value that you like in here. So with this code, we'll actually transition the background color and shrink the height of the whole section. Well, how do you shrink the size of the logo? This is where the recent feature, which is added into Elementor version 2.5.8 beta kicks in. So you just need to click on your logo or your image, whatever it is. Just go to motion effects and you need to select scrolling effects. And under that, you need to pick scale. So what we're effectively doing is that when the user scales up, that's what we're seeing here. We're actually shrinking the size and you can play with these values based on your requirement. And I'm actually happy with these values. So as the user 
scales up or when the user scrolls it will scale in a negative direction meaning it will shrink the size of the logo there are other values you can also play with scale down scale up down and all scale up seems to work really well so you can pick scale up and adjust the amount by which you want to shrink the logo size i think minus 3 is in that sweet spot so it will shrink properly with my header and you can also pick x anchor point and y anchor point if you change y anchor point you will see where my logo is going i think center alignment is perfect and i want this on my desktop tablet and mobile so i'm more than happy with it and then i'll just click on update and that's it and that's how you have a transparent header that changes its color and also shrinks its logo size when the user scrolls through the page it's that simple but you need to wait for the elementor version 2.5.8 to come out once it comes out you can play with these features and there's a lot more so stay tuned i'll talk to you in the next video and that's it for now and hope you guys like this video if you did make sure to give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and if you need anything else don't hesitate to ask i'm ready to help you catch you in the next video peace